Welcome everybody and thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to get some insider tips on Jamaica. So the culture of the island is definitely unique and it is world renowned, so we do have lots to hear about today. But before we get started, I am just going to give you a quick little blurb for our new viewers. This is a live presentation, so there may be moments where your screen freezes. Please be patient and it should correct itself in about 30 seconds. If you are viewing today from a handheld device, you may want to unlock your screen view and turn your device to the landscape view, which is just sideways, just like that. Um, and that's going to give you the best view of the presentation today. Screenshots, you're definitely always welcome to take screenshots of any of the information that you see pop up on your screen that you would like to keep to refer to at another time. We will have some websites, some email addresses on there as well too that you may want to keep. Um, we also do have a Q&A chat function that is on the right hand side of your screen. If you have a question for any of our guests today, please post the question in the Q&A chat. And at the end of the presentation, Shannon, our moderator, will ask our guests your questions so that we can get expert answers for that. All right, Jamaica, here we come. My guests today are Louise from the Jamaica Tourist Board. I also have Vonda from Royalton Resorts. We have Denise from the Sell-Off Vacations Ajax Ontario office. And we also have Emily from the Regina Saskatchewan office joining us today. So first up, we've got Louise from the Jamaican Tourist Board. Louise, how are you today? Oh, Louise, we can't hear you. Your mute must be on. Went back on. Uh, I'm well today. It's a little bit cloudy, so wishing I was in Jamaica where it's a beautiful sunny 29 degrees and get the beach, but we're in Montreal. <laughs> well, that's okay. So Louise, Jamaica is a top selling destination for Canadians. Can you tell the viewers what it is that draws travelers to Jamaica? There's so many reasons. So what I did is the top 10. So number 10, it's, it's location. Located in the middle of the Caribbean Ocean, it guarantees weather year round from 28 to 32 degrees. Beautiful, warm ocean. So also very calm ocean. So if you're going with families, there's really, really no issues. So and it's also a natural barrier against hurricanes. So Jamaicans will tell you that the island is blessed um, that, you know, they can enjoy it. It is the third largest uh, island in the Caribbean, so it offers a lot of diversity from the mountains on the east side, beautiful beaches on the western tip. The island, number nine, it's its beauty. Uh, it's a beautiful island from its mountains, its waterfalls, 120 rivers on the island, and of course, beautiful beaches. So depending on what you want to do on your vacation, you'll be able to find it. Number eight, of course, is its history from its first people, the Arawak that gave the name um, Jamaica, meaning land of wood and water, to the arrival of the Spanish, the British sugarcane plantations, Port Royal. If you've seen the movie uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, it was actually based on Port Royal. So number seven, of course, is activities, excursions. So whether you want to stay on the beach, um, there's so many different types of activities that are really exclusive to Jamaica. It's the only place you'll find it. Uh, where else could you go bobsleighing, river tubing, you've got zip lining, um, scuba diving. There are 12 golf courses historical sites. Um, so the list just goes on and on. I could be talking about the different activities for the next 15 minutes. But um, as I said, whether you want to do nothing and just relax on the beach, as you have in your background, or play a round of golf, Jamaica will have it for you. So number six is actually the food. You eat well in Jamaica. And of course, um, as we have here, Jamaica is renowned for its jerk chicken. Everything is jerk, but you can also get a lot of different fish. Um, the quality of the food from any of the hotels, whether you're staying at a three or four or five star, it's excellent. I also want to make a mention that you can drink the water from any tap in, on the island. So that's very important. 
Beaches, beautiful white sand beaches. We have Negril Beach right here, so 11 kilometers of white sands. But you also have smaller beaches, very small and intimate, that are just maybe four or 500 meters long. The choice will be yours. Who has not heard of Bob Marley? So we get into number four, the music, the entertainment. Um, musical inter entertainment is just phenomenal, no matter where you are um, at on the island. Some fest, one of the greatest well-known uh, musical festival that you can find. Weddings, Jamaica is renowned. We've won several awards as the best um, honeymoon destination. So something to look into. Simply contact uh, one of sell off vacations agents. There are six tourist areas on the island. So that's number two. So Montego Bay, point of arrival. That's uh, where you will be landing. Um, mix of history, culture, soft adventure. Ocho Rios on the west side, east side of the island. Uh, beautiful sceneries, mountain, Port Antonio, completely on the eastern tip, very nature oriented. Um, then you will have the next is Kingston, the capital. Beautiful history, culture that you will find there. So if you're staying in Ocho Rios, it's a 45 minute drive. Negril is our beach area, so beautiful white sand beaches, um, 11 kilometers of white sand beaches in that area, and of course, south coast off the beaten path. Um, there is something for everyone, no matter what you're looking for. And number one, I think for me, the greatest strength of the island, it's its people. They're warm, they're generous. Um, in French, we would say a joie de vivre, so definitely worth the detour. Um, come to Jamaica. We say the heartbeat of the world. Yeah, that it sure is. Um, and I can definitely agree with you. The people, every time I've been there, are very, very friendly. They love to joke around. Um, and that's always been a highlight to me when I've visited. So what's the absolute must um, that must see and do items that people need to do when they're visiting Jamaica? You've only got seven days. That list of 10, 10 that you had there, is a, you can't pack quite all that in in the seven days. No, but I want to make sure they come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think for me, uh, number one, of course, would be, um, and, and these are the top sort of if you want. Um, Appleton Distillery, Jamaica is known, of course, for its sugar cane, so definitely worth a visit. Duns River Falls is the excursions that Jamaica is well known for, so 700 meters of falls that you climb. But not as well known in Ocho Rios is the Blue Hole, so there's not as many people and it's just as beautiful. And again, you just go and play in the water. Rafting um, available on three different rivers, and that again is very Jamaican, the Martha Bray on Lethe River or Rio Grande. There are several great houses, but the best known one, of course, is Rose Hall. And the legend is that she actually killed three of her husbands, so the hall is haunted. Bob Marley Museum, uh, two options in Kingston. You can see his last residence or his recording studio. Nine Miles, the village where he was born. If you're in the grill, Rick's Cafe, and you need to go there only at the end of the afternoon to watch the sunsets. And uh, Black River, it's a soft water safari. Black River is one of the longest river on the island. There are actually 300 crocodiles living in the marshes of that river, so you never know, you might see one. <laughs> wow. All right, so speaking of Appleton, Appleton rum, I know it's uh, one of the top um, spirits that, well, that's known to the island. What mm -hmm. are the top food and drink items to try when visiting? Well, it's not options that are going to be a problem. Aki is the national fruit, not as well known here. Um, you will eat the white flesh inside the, um, the fruit and the national breakfast is Aki and saltfish. And actually, the salt fish comes from Newfoundland. So they have been trading for more than 400 years. So 
jerk chicken, as we well know, Jamaica will jerk everything that they can from jerk chicken, jerk pork, jerk fish, jerk sausages. Great choice of fruits and vegetables. Um, most of what you will have served at the hotel is fresh. Did you know that it was in Jamaica that the European first state um, tasted pineapple? No, nope, so I did not know that. Yeah, it was in Jamaica. So in lots of fish dishes, in terms of drink, you can't not mention Appleton, <laughs> whether it's the amber, white rum or whatever. And then you have Joy Spence here was the first lady mixer in all of the different distilleries. So as I mentioned earlier, Appleton Distillery is to visit. Blue Mountain Coffee, one of the best coffee in the world. So you can visit a coffee plantation, but whatever coffee you're drinking at the hotels will be that. And the Red Stripe. Never had a complaint about beer so far, so we're good. No. <laughs> Um, I did do the Appleton factory tour and I can say that there is more than just the one Appleton rum there or the, there was about 40 different kinds and I mean you could have tried them all if they would if you were so inclined. <laughs> <laughs> no you can and there's one that's only available at the distillery so uh, unfortunately in Canada we only get two kinds. Yeah no it was uh, it was a good experience I would definitely recommend that. Definitely. Uh, so travelers, of course, they love to shop when they're on vacation. What are mm -hmm. the top items that people would want to purchase from Jamaica? So the top purchases and most of them will probably you will do them at the um, craft markets that we have in each of the various re uh, regions. So you've got paintings that can either purchased at the craft market or in various um, galleries. Wood sculptures, Jamaicans are known for that. So there's some amazing uh, ones that you can find. But really uh, what people will buy are the various spices, jerk sauce, jerk um, rubs, rum, rum cream. You can't do away. You cannot awesome. come back without rum cream. Uh, Wazi pottery, coffee, of course. If you're buying coffee, just make sure that there's an expiry date on the bag. Okay. Awesome, thank you. What currency should I use when I'm in Jamaica? When you're in Jamaica, the, uh, well, first of all, the official currency in Jamaica is the Jamaican dollar. So it's about 105 Jamaican dollars for one Canadian dollar, but all of the excursions and the price in the various boutiques and at the craft market will be given to you in US dollars. So you can just travel with US dollars without any issues. Okay. And is English widely spoken in the marketplace or all the tourist areas? Yes. Well, English is the official language in Jamaica, but Jamaicans will speak Patois, and that's a mix of English, African, French, Spanish, so you'll find all of these expressions. Your most of your listeners will probably have heard of the expression no problem, so that's a given. But if they ask you how are you? Um, you'll answer by IRIE, I-R-I-E, which means everything is fine. If the waiter at the bar tells you Sun Kam Man, um, then you know your drink is coming between five minutes and 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when you leave someone, you'll tell them walk good. Uh, and every sentence, of course, will end with a Yaman. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's cute to know. Um, so. Of course, everyone does always want to go when the weather's the best. What time of year should they go to avoid rainy season? Well, the official rainy seasons are the months of May, early June, and then um, end of August, September, October. That's traditional of all Caribbean destinations. But Jamaicans will tell you that it never rains in Jamaica. What they have is liquid sunshine. Right. So, <laughs> so in Jamaica, basically, um, even if it's a rainy season, does not necessarily mean it will rain every day. It's just a little bit cloudier. Often the rain is at the end of the day. And if you're traveling th during those periods, often the prices will reflect that. So that might be something to consider. Yeah, I, I have to say I have traveled there during rainy season and I know exactly what you're talking about when you say the liquid yeah. sunshine. It doesn't usually last long at all. No, it's fine. And the sun minutes. comes right back out again. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Um, so yep. there's tons and tons of beaches, as you said, in your top 10 in Jamaica. So which ones are your favorite and why? 
Well, my favorite one is, of course, Negril uh, on the western tip of the island. It's the longest beach. There are two beaches there, Bloody Bay, which is 3.5 kilometers long beach, which is 7.5 kilometers. So if you just want to go for a long, long walk, uh, but if you're more something intimate, Frenchman's Cove in Port Antonio, as you can see, it's just a very small cove. And if I'm in the heart of the city, like in Montego Bay, Doctor's Cave Beach, it is said to have medicinal power so that uh, when you go swimming and you're just feeling a little bit achy, you've played too much tennis or you've been at the gym, um, it takes away all of these aches. But what I do love about it is right from the beach, I can go snorkeling and see all kinds of different fish and marine life. Oh, that's great. So you've been to Jamaica, I'm assuming, a ton of times. After what? 24 years with the board, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your best insider tip for travelers to Jamaica? Well, I was doing up the list and I noticed that a lot of them they have to do with food or drinks. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're in the grill, it's almost a must. You need to stop at Rick's Cafe, as I mentioned earlier, and watch the sunsets. It's just glorious. And as soon as the sun will hit the horizon, there'll be a reggae band that will start and it just becomes sort of a, a nightclub if you want. First stop that I do, though, when I do get to Jamaica is I stop at Scotchy's where they cook the jerk chicken the traditional way. So the meat is resting on uh, pimento wood. That's the wood that gives you the all spice. It's spicy, it's juicy, and it's excellent. If you're on the south coast, then Pelican Bar is something totally different. It's in the ocean, so you need to take a boat to get out there. And once you get there, um, you can have your drinks, your red stripe or whatever drink that you want. It's this crooked foundation that you never know if it's going to stand, but it had withstood all of these different storms. When I'm in Kingston, then it's the ice cream. And um, as you can see there at Devon House, it's the pronoun I scream because you will moan when you take that first bite of ice cream. That's how good it is. There's also Rose Hall Great House. I'm a history buff. I love anything that deals with history. Um, the day tour is just beautiful and amazing. As I mentioned before, um, the last owner uh, was killed by her slaves during a revolt. She was very, Annie Palmer was renowned for her cruelty. She actually killed three of her husbands. So what they have done now for the past three years is that they do night tours. And now the ghosts are guaranteed on that night tour. So it's a lot of fun. Um, and of course, the last one I've not, I'll be honest, I've not done that one. I've not had the time. It's on my to do list for my next vacation. And that is watching the sunrise at um, the top of the Blue Mountain. So you're on the eastern tip of the island you wake up early in the morning you climb the mountain you have a guide with you who's going to be showing you all of these different plants on the way down you get to visit um, a coffee plantation have a cup of coffee and breakfast and i've just heard reviews about it but i think you did it didn't you mention that no not that one i did um rose hall i did the ghost tour at rose hall and it was a highlight for me but i'm like you i'm a history buff so i was uh, very interested in it i've also done scotchies on there and that was some of the best food i've ever had was at scotchies oh. but that that plantation tour at night it was a lot of fun um i was a little scared <laughs> <laughs> but but it was a lot of fun. I would definitely do it again. I have done it about five times. So I know exactly when the chains are coming out and the rattling <laughs> and I still scream. I still scream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But and actually I liked they actually have a room with all the artifacts mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. Um, and then they also have in that room they have people that had because it was a hotel at one time, was it not? No, I don't think it was ever. Or, there was, yeah. or they had guests that was owned yes, by somebody that would have guests time. come all the time. <laughs> yes. And they had letters. People had written letters about their experiences staying there and encountering the ghosts. So I thought that was quite neat. <laughs> So I don't think I would dare stay the night though. No, no, I don't think I would either. <laughs> so, 
So, Louise, has Jamaica reopened uh, to Canadians for business? Yes, it has. So as of July 15th, um, the Jamaican government has uh, opened its borders to international flights, uh, but with some protocols in place. So what um, our visitors need to do before arriving on the island is go to our website, which is visitjamaica.com to be able to um, print out the travel authorization form. They can fill it out online. Within 15 minutes to half an hour at the most, they will receive the official um, authorization. They can either print it out, keep it on their phone because they will need that document uh, okay. in order to board their flight. That's very important to mention. These are the protocols in place now uh, it's as you know it's a very fluid situation things evolve so the best thing for anyone booking is contact your travel agents sell off vacation agents are very knowledge knowledgeable and um they'll be able to tell you exactly the measures that they need to take that's great thank you so much louise sure. we'll have you back at the end for q a be here all right so next up, we've got Vonda, who's joining us to tell us about the Royalton Resorts in Jamaica. Thank you, Vonda, for joining us. And how are you today? Oh, Vonda, you're still on mute. Sorry about that. I no worries. Was, uh, <laughs> but I'm great. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Good. Glad to have you. So, Vonda, can you tell us how many resorts do you have in Jamaica? And of those resorts, what kind of travelers are suited uh, for those specific resorts and why? Sure, we have five different resorts, three different brands. So here's one of our Royaltons that you're looking at. Royalton is our family luxury brand. We also have an adults only brand, which is Hideaway at Royalton. And then we have our Grand Lido, which is for nudists. So we really cater to anybody and everybody. We have something for anyone that is looking for a great getaway. That's great. Thank you very much. What is one thing that stands out as unique or special at your resorts? Our water features for our kids uh, really make us stand out. Here you can see the lazy river that's at Royalton Blue Waters and Royalton White Sands. Uh, but we have so many different activities for all age groups to keep you entertained from morning to night. Okay, that's great. And can you tell us what's the most common compliment that these resorts are receiving from your guests? Uh, sure. People seem to really love the modern facilities, the modern amenities, and um, just the beautiful atmospheres that we offer. That's great. I can tell I've stayed at actually the Blue Waters, the Royalton Blue Waters in um, just outside of Ocho Rios. And then I've also stayed at the Royalton Negril. And I can tell you for me, walking into the Royalton Negril, that entrance, when you walk in, you walk in on the second level and it's all open air and there's a glass railing and it looks straight out into the uh, into the uh, beach and the ocean. It's the most beautiful sight I've seen. Yeah, I think it is the best location in Jamaica and I've been told that by so many people and I yeah. agree and you cannot beat that view. And right yeah. behind me, is actually uh, from Royalton Blue Waters, Royalton White Sands, that little island. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. So yeah. The island has a little sandbar that you can walk the sandbar to get to the island. Yeah. 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 I remember that. That was very neat, too. Yeah. We always have great beaches and great views. So. So now if you had to pick your favorite dining experience at these resorts, what would it be and why? Well, Hunter Steakhouse is always great. You can't go wrong. Uh, we have our signature steaks and your favorite sides that you can choose from. My husband's favorite is the creme brulee dessert <laughs> there. <laughs> but the food is spectacular. Um, I actually had someone whose husband was a butcher and she said, this is the best steak we have ever had. And he's a butcher here um, actually in the U.S. And so uh, that was quite the compliment. And Calypso is also another favorite. It's kind of a tie for me. Um, you can see it has all this Caribbean decor, but it also has a great menu of different seafoods and Jamaican foods, such as beef patties, which are one of my favorite things to get in Jamaica, but also the jerk chicken you can get here as well. So mm -hmm. it's a tie for me. 
<laughs> it's, the food is all good, actually. Yeah. I, I have no complaints at the Royalton when I've stayed there with any of my food. Um, so if you were going to splurge on something special, a special, either a special room category at the resort, what would you choose to make your splurge on? Yeah, well, you know, this here, this, this picture you're looking at is our lead-in room, the Luxury Junior Suite. So you can get in on a great price point in, with the Luxury Junior Suite, or you can upgrade to a larger room if you'd like. But I would say if you're going to splurge, go ahead and do a Diamond Club add-on. So it's a Diamond Club room. You also get butler service. You get the premium alcohol available. You have a Diamond Club lounge. Here's a, an example of that. Um, you have your own check-in area, your own beach area, your own pool for all just Diamond Club members. So, and your room is going to have some of the best views on property if you're Diamond Club. That's so great. I would say, yeah, you're taking your vacation time, your hard-earned money for a little getaway. Go ahead and and spend just a little more to to add on that Diamond Club. Yeah, I I would I would agree with that. I actually have gone with and without the Diamond Club and it is it is a little nicer. It's nice to have that little room area where you can go and grab a drink and grab a snack and sandwiches as well too. Yeah. Um and a nice check in a little check in area mm -hmm. for, that's a little yeah. separate. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so viewers usually do want to, well, not usually, they do want to know. <laughs> viewers do want to know what the safety measures that are being taken at the resorts due to COVID. Can you share some of those measures? Sure, um, as you can see here, we have um, the different protocols that we are now using to make sure that everyone feels safe and um, to make sure everything is, is as clean and, and sterilized as possible. And uh, we'll be with you the entire step of the way, but we are making sure our staff is fully trained and that these cleaning procedures are up to snuff. So we make sure that you're that you go and you have a worry free time when you stay with us. All right, um, Vonda, I, I know we didn't have this question, but I just want to ask, are the resorts open? In Jamaica, um, we have Royalton the Grill is yep. open and then Hideaway is expected to be open within a week or so. So okay. we do have to pass government regulations on things and wait for them to come inspect and everything. Um, to reopen after all of this. So uh, we did expect to have Hideaway open by now, but we're waiting on that. So um, that should be open very soon. And same with Grand Lido. As far as Blue Waters and White Sands, we expect to be open there uh, September 1st for those properties. Okay, perfect, thank you. And Vonda, I know you've been to Jamaica tons of times. What's yeah. your best insider tip for anyone wanting to travel to Jamaica? <laughs> Well, I have, I've got a few. I, I love Jamaica. It is my favorite place to go. Um, my husband and I actually had our wedding there three years ago. Um, but yeah, here's a picture of us. We were just there in March and we went on the One Love bus crawl. And that was, they took us to a bar that had that cave underneath and it was, we had so much fun on that. So I highly recommend that. Um, I did the high jump at, Oh, here's us at the Appleton Estate when we were there in March, and uh, that was a great that was a great trip and a great tour there. But I would highly recommend don't do the high jump at Rick's Cafe. Watch the experts <laughs> do it. I have pictures of my bruises from me doing the jump. Don't you do did it. the actual jump? <laughs> I did. Wow. I did. All my colleagues were with me and backed out, and I'm like, well, I'm going to do it. I, you know, <laughs> if you're backing out, you're chicken, but. Don't do it. Just don't do it. <laughs> it's, it's a, if you haven't been before, viewers, it's an actual cliff jump. You're jumping off the side of the cliff um, quite high. Too high for me to be comfortable. But, <laughs> but good on you, Vonda. Good on you. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Vonda, for your tips and sure. tricks. Um, sure. We'll have you back with the Q&A. And up next, we have Denise from the Soloff Vacations office in Ajax, Ontario, and she's going to share her photos and memories of her time in Jamaica. Thanks. To, thank you, uh, Denise. Oh, you're still on mute. Yeah. 
I'm oh, there you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, my name's Denise. I'm uh, from the Ajax office. I'm the branch manager there. Uh, I've been with Cell Applications for about 10 years now in total. Uh, I've been lucky enough to go to Jamaica several times now. Uh, most recently was about three I want to say four years ago, uh, I was able to go with about 30 of my colleagues from Sell Off Vacations uh, and we were able to enjoy some of the resorts and check them out. So uh, when you arrive anywhere, of course, getting into the resorts and in the lobby, having that first cold drink, it sets the mood for the vacation. So of course, here I am just uh, enjoying a nice cold drink at the Sandals property. Now we actually did stay at the Royalton Blue Waters. Uh, as Vonda was saying, it's it's an amazing property. It's very modern, um, well laid out, and there's actually two properties on site there: the Blue Waters and uh, the White Sands. Um, the highlight for me at the resort was the lazy river <laughs> uh, it is not just for kids i spent so many hours in there as sherry can probably attest to uh just floating around having a really good time it's fantastic she did she, she did she would spend the whole day in that pool <laughs> Uh, now, one of the other highlights of the uh, Royaltons are their cabanas. So you can rent a cabana um, around the pool. Um, they give you a butler service. You've got a private your own little pool as well. Um, it's just a nice little added bonus that you can add on um, for you and your friends. So these are some of our sell off vacations uh, agents doing just that, enjoying the, uh, the cabana pools there. And again, just, you know, enjoying our red stripes, having a good afternoon um, in the sun. Now the beaches at the Royaltons are fantastic as well. And there are two beaches at the Royalton complex here. Uh, the first one is, I'd probably say the smaller of the two, um, but this is where you're going to, going to find the non-motorized water sports that are available to you. So there are paddle boards, there's kayaks. Uh, I believe they had some windsurfing as well. I was able to take the kayaks out uh, for a nice little paddle. It was fantastic. Uh, the second beach is the longer of the two beaches. So if you are a beach walker, it's fantastic for that. And of course, Jamaica is absolutely beautiful and the greenery and the flowers that you're going to experience around the island are just fantastic. So uh, here's some of the tropical hibiscus that you'll find there. They're absolutely stunning, of course. Now, uh, the main highlight of my excursions that I've done in Jamaica was uh, taking out a catamaran. Um, so I love, I love to do a catamaran tour no matter where I go um, but this was our uh, boat that we were able to take out for the afternoon and sail along the coast uh, down to Montego Bay. Uh, this is us pulling into Margaritaville so we were able to stop into Margaritaville have a drink explore. Margaritaville is it's fantastic. It's definitely a party area, of course. So if you're looking for a good time, go to Margaritaville. The music is always playing. Uh, there's always a fun crowd there. Uh, they do have a water slide as well, as you can see, and a really fun um, water playground area there as well. So really good times. And of course, while you're on board the catamaran, the music is playing. Uh, there's drinks, there's food, everybody's just having a really good time. So you can be inside dancing or you can be out on the deck enjoying the sunshine. And then of course, uh, there is the opportunity to go swimming. Um, here's some of my pictures from uh, the reef that we stopped at to go snorkeling. Uh, the water was absolutely beautiful, crystal clear. Uh, there were quite a few fish and corals and uh, marine life around and just a little shot from the water as well. And then of course you have to take a shot of your fins, right? <laughs> and uh, again, just me enjoying my time at Margaritaville with my red stripe uh, beer, which is always delicious when you're in Jamaica. So yeah. I think that's it. 
Yeah, yeah so that's it for me. Um, my top tip w for Jamaica, of course, would be when you're going into Jamaica and when you're leaving Jamaica, the lineups at the airport for immigration and customs tend to be a little bit on the longer side. So I definitely would uh, recommend the um, Jamaica um, VIP experience at the airport. Uh, I believe it's about $100 before per person for the round trip um, and they will basically take you um, into a very nice air conditioned area. There's drinks and snacks available for you and they will escort you uh, or fast track you through immigration. Uh, so it's just a nice relaxing way um, to deal with all that paperwork when you're getting on the island. So I'm going to pass this over to Emily now and she's gonna tell you about some of her amazing adventures in Jamaica as well. Thanks, Denise. That was awesome. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'll start by introducing myself. My name is Emily Chambers, and I am the selling supervisor here in Regina, Saskatchewan. And I've been with Sell Off Vacations coming up on six years. Um, I'm very excited to be here to tell you about Jamaica. It is a destination that most definitely sits as a special place in my heart. I booked our vacation to surprise my husband when he convocated university. And so he had no idea where we were staying, what we were doing. He knew we were going to the island of Jamaica, but everything else I got to plan without his input. So this is just a couple of photos of the resort we were at. We were at the Rio Palace, Jamaica, right in Montego Bay. And I chose the Montego Bay area for a couple of reasons, but mainly for the quick commute from the airport. We were drink in hand and exploring the resort within an hour of landing at the Montego Bay Airport. It was just awesome, especially after a long flight from the prairies. Uh, our first night spent at the resort, of course, was with the beautiful island sunsets, the iconic steel drum bands, and just a relaxing introduction to the island of Jamaica. We wanted to explore the island. We took a couple of adventures, one which was a little bit more thrilling, uh, which I'll get into a little bit later, but here's a couple of pictures of the resort once again. Of course, the food. I did get to try ackee when I was there, and it is a really cool fruit with a very cool texture. Um, there's some pictures there of us with our red stripe. My husband is a Coors Light uh, aficionado, and he would put uh, red stripe very similar to that of, of Coors Light or um, Bud Light here in Canada. So on to our adventures. We spent an entire day at the Mystic Mountain Adventure Park and this was absolutely thrilling. We got to take part of in a couple of different activities. So the first one is the Sky Tranopy, which you can see there on the left side of the screen. And it is a chairlift that sits about uh, four people comfortably across the chair and takes you up about 700 meters uh, above sea level over look out looking over Ocho Rios, which is in that bottom center picture there. The views are stunning. The top picture there just shows our feet way above the trees. We got to see the flora and fauna and it was just a really relaxing trip up to the top of the mountain and anybody with any kind of height um, I guess fears maybe would want to think twice about this, but uh, this is at the lookout where we got to try, of course, the famous jerk chicken, Blue Mountain Coffee. There was a place where we could get souvenirs and relax in the pool and take the water slide down if we had so chosen to do so. There's a couple of different ways to get down the mountain. Uh, of course, on that Sky Tranopy, you can take that down once again, but we opted for something a little bit more exciting, which was the uh, Jamaican bobsled. This is a 1000 meter track down the mountain, and you can take this either individually in your little cart, or you can hook it together to get the true roller coaster experience. This again is not a sightseeing portion of the tour, when they strap you in and make sure you're safe, they do say the faster you go down the mountain, the safer you are. Um, but it is absolutely a tribute to the uh, 1988 Olympic team. And it was just so fun to, to sit in these and whiz down the mountain. Another way that you can get down the mountain, of course, is by zipline. And I try and do that everywhere I go. I love soaring through the trees. I believe there's eight platforms. I can't quite remember, but it was just an awesome experience. The tour guides were 
um, so wonderful. Safety is top of mind. I wouldn't hesitate to do this tour or send anybody in my you know, friend or family circle on these tours. Switching gears a little bit, we have something a little bit more quiet, something maybe not so much for uh, the faint of heart. Uh, this to me was a truly magical experience going out on the glistening waters or the luminous lagoons. And it's a place where the Martha Bray River meets the Caribbean Sea. And because of that has bioluminescent properties. And when you take these little boats out into the middle of lag the lagoon and the water is disturbed, it glows like a glow stick. This to me was extra special. There's only about five places in the world where you can see this bioluminescence. And once you're out in the middle of the lagoon, you hear the stories about it and the guide takes you through the special properties of the water. You actually do get a chance to go swimming. And so you dive into the water and every time you move your arms or you kick your feet, you see that water glow. It really is an, a magical experience. And I think another thing that I really loved about it is it didn't take away from a beach day. So where we spent the entire day at Mystic Mountain, this tour only starts about, you know, 4.30 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And we were back at our resort for dinner about 10 o'clock, which we, you know, finished off in the buffet. Um, my husband and I always finish off every vacation writing in the sand, our destination and the year we were there so that we can look back. I could chat with you about Jamaica all day long, but I won't keep everybody that long. I, as I say, it has a truly special place in my heart and I am so very excited to talk to you about the destination and help with your vacation planning. That's great. Thank you so much, Emily. Thank you, Denise, as well. Shannon is going to uh, help us out with the Q&A. And just before we started, Shannon told us that she has been to Jamaica 20 times. Is that yes. true, Shannon? Over 20 times, yes. Um, wow. Not not always a week at a time, but uh, three or four nights at a time as well. So um, it definitely is uh, my go-to island. Personally, I love it. I love the atmosphere, the culture. I love uh, that they have uh, their own language and uh, they also speak English, so it's really easy to communicate. So definitely a top destination for me personally. That's great. Do we have mm -hmm. lots of questions today? We do, yeah. Great. So we'll get started with those. Thank you everybody for, for uh, providing your questions. We're certainly happy to answer as many as we can. Um, so Louise, I'm going to start with you. Mm -hmm. um, someone mentioned that the Bahamas has banned the US travelers and asking if Jamaica is considering doing the same. Not at uh, this time. However, certain states, um, residents of certain states before arriving in Jamaica need to show proof that they've um, their COVID test is negative. So, okay. and the other point also is that there is a resilience corridor. So it's basically the hotels that are from the road to the ocean. And at this point in time, as I said, things change. So that could change. But at right. this time in time, we're asking our visitors, our guests to stay on property, enjoy the facilities mm -hmm. so that we can contain everyone and contain the COVID. Of course, I'm sure you're doing your best with that. And uh, and that's good to hear that they're requiring some tests from some some states. So mm -hmm. that's great. Thanks for answering that, Louise. Um, Vonda, I have a question for you. It's related to the buffets. Now, someone actually mentioned that they were supposed to travel to the runaway bay grand bahia in june but obviously had to cancel and asked how they deal with their buffets at the the resorts due to covid now i know you may be a little bit different but i think it's very similar across the board so can you maybe speak to how you handle your buffets after the covid pandemic now uh, yeah that's a great question some resorts are choosing to not do buffets at all but mm -hmm. at all of our blue diamond resorts are, we're very well known for having amazing mm. buffets that it takes you about 10 minutes to walk through the entire thing and it, you don't see repeat stations at all. So we do have the, the plexiglass up and you can point to what you'd like and okay. we will have a staff, a team member working behind the plexiglass that'll plate it for you. So it's kind of like Subway where you get to choose and they right. put it together for you and hand it to you at the end. 
Excellent. Yeah. Perfect. I think some people will like that better regardless of the pandemic. So that's yeah, great to hear I, I'm as well. Yeah, I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Thank you very much, Fonda. Um, sure. em Emily, I have a question for you. Sure. Um, someone wanted to know where to go in terms of resort, um, and they mentioned Runaway Bay, Negril, Ocho Rios, or Montego Bay. Um, it would just be um, him and his wife. Um, they love water and pool activities and basically staying just at the resort. Um, they like room service for 24-7. Said they've traveled everywhere but leaning to Jamaica for the first time. Uh, but they find it expensive. So just wondering if uh, maybe you could recommend something there and you could also maybe give them your contact info as well. Absolutely. I'd love to chat a little bit more in terms of, of what else you're looking for on vacation. Uh, mm -hmm. There are very different areas of Jamaica. Um, and I, I mean, I can certainly recommend hotels, but I think I'd like to have a more one-on-one -on -one chat and find out exactly what they're looking for. I loved Montego sure. Bay when I was there, um, but there's adults only options. There's of course the Royaltons, which are the luxury resorts. I was at a Rio. Yeah. Um, there's so many to choose from. I, I think I would hesitate to recommend just one right off the bat. Yeah, I think you'd need to have a little bit further, uh, you know, uh, conversation with them but uh, Emily can certainly uh, point you in the right direction for sure um, and kind of narrow it down for you to make a decision um, and you can contact her do you want to uh, let them know where you, they can contact you at Emily absolutely I'm in Regina so the the email that you can get me at is just Regina at selloffvacations.com perfect perfect thank you so much Emily uh, Denise I'm going to come to you with this question sure um, Someone asked what is required for Canadians to enter the island besides a passport? Any additional paperwork? Sure. So you will need to complete the uh, travel um, authorization. Pa authorization. Thank you very much. I lost yep. my wording there, <laughs> uh, which can be done through the Jamaica uh, Tourist Board website. Um, yep. It doesn't take very long. I've done it myself, helping some clients out. It takes maybe five, ten minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be emailed to you directly uh, and um, as Malise said, keep it on your phone or print a copy of it and that in your passport is really all you need. Okay, perfect. That's great. I'm, uh, sorry, Denise. Um, Louise, I'm going to come back to you. Um, someone said that they, they love Jamaica. They went last summer. They went zip lining, river tubing, and a visit to the Blue, blue Hole. Um, at, they're asking what precautions are you taking on excursions like this? Um, they would love to come and join with these activities on their next trip. So for the time being, as I said, everything is fluid. For the time being, the excursions are closed. Mm -hmm. um, when they do reopen, they will all have um, to be approved by uh, one of the arm of the government, which is TPD Co. So they will have they have certain standards in terms of hand sanitizer, wearing the mask, um, their staff being trained also. So everything will be in place. Again, it will depend on the type of activities like Blue Hole is a water activity. So right. they will have different norms than something like Mystic Mountain, where mm -hmm. um, every ride will need to be disinfected after each person goes through it. Yeah. So again, it, it'll vary according to the type of excursions that it will be, but the, the norms are very strict and they meet all of the standards that we would course. here in North yeah. America. Okay. Excellent. And actually one more question here for you, Louise. Um, someone asked just in general, do, do they need COVID testing prior to entry? Not as Canadian citizens. Yeah. Um, for Canadian citizens, not at the moment. Um, they may request it depending if you've had any contact with someone who's had COVID. Um, mm -hmm. And that through the questionnaire, they will tell you. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Yep, excellent. Um, Vonda, I'm going to come back to you here. Um, someone asked about the Diamond Club. Um, are, are they able to add it on upon check-in um, or is it recommended more so to book an, book an add-on in advance? That's a great question. I recommend you do it when you are booking mm -hmm. um, and for a couple different reasons. Some, you know, they only sell so many, you know, Upon arrival, it might not be available for yeah. one. Plus, 
if you purchase it just on um, arrival, you might just get some Diamond Club services. You not, might not get a Diamond Club room. So it's it's definitely right. best to do it with your booking for sure. Yeah, I would agree with that because I sell a bit as well in my position and, and a lot of my agents. And um, there's been many times when people book even in advance and it's been sold out then. So um, definitely advisable to book it at time of booking if it's available. Can I can I ask you what's the difference between the Diamond Club room, like why it's important to have the Diamond Club room as opposed to just adding Diamond Club onto a regular room? Yes, the just the location of the room. The rooms will be the same inside, um, but the Diamond Club rooms have the best views. And you know, I, I, like I said earlier, it's your vacation time. You're spending your hard-earned money. You might as well get some great views while you're there. So it's worth it. For Thank sure, you. yeah. Um, Emily, do you mind taking another question here? Um, let me see here. Someone asked, which hotel would be best suited for a family with a 14-year-old teen, in your opinion? Um, well, again, I'll revert kind of back to my original answer. I yeah. think we need to have a chat about what you want to do outside the resort, what you're looking for. I mean, um, there's there's resorts with water parks, there's resorts yeah. with um, motorized and non-motorized water sports included. It all all depends. Again, I would hesitate to recommend yeah. just one without a little bit more information. For sure, but lots of options there for absolutely. sure. So. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. It's, it's like and, you're a matchmaker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have right. to match them to the best That's resort. That's kind of what we are as travel agents, I think. That's absolutely. what we do best, yeah. Um, one more for you, Emily, actually. Um, someone just mentioned, are three-star resorts in Jamaica much better than four-star or five-star resorts in other Caribbean destinations like Mexico, Punta Cana, for example? Like, I guess, how comparable would a three-star in Jamaica be to like a four or five-star in another island? Um, I definitely would would rank Jamaica as a higher caliber destination yeah. in terms of um, the resorts. Yeah. It is usually a more expensive destination, but I, I promise you worth every penny yeah. just for that little bit of, of extra for sure. Yeah, for sure. Excellent. Thank you. Um, Denise, I'm going to come back to you with a, one more question. Um, someone mentioned that they are concerned about travel restrictions and obtaining travel insurance um, as Manulife will not give coverage specifically related to COVID. Um, are you able to explain some of the flexible terms some of our tour suppliers have? Um, and if they cancel, is it a travel voucher or a refund? Sure. So no. our yep. travel suppliers and tour operators and airlines, they all have different policies in place currently. Um, some will allow for cancellation uh, up to 25 days prior to departure and still get uh, a refund back. Others mm -hmm. will allow for changes up to 24 hours prior to departure. So there are a variety of options out there depending on the supplier, but uh, certainly something that we can discuss as well. Excellent. And uh, you can re reach Denise where? Denise, uh, what email? Sure, at ajax at selloffvacations.com. Excellent. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Um, we have one more question for the evening, and it's actually for you, Louise. I think you're best suited for this one. Um, someone's, I think some of our agents were, could probably answer this as well. We'll go with you. Um, I tend to be in independent traveler someone said um how is the safety for a solo woman older not and she's not a partier uh, any region that's safer or easier all regions are very safe to travel i myself have traveled all over the island i've never had an issue but like any destination any travel that you do you need to take some security measures um you know, we always suggest you don't wear your whole jewelry box on you when you're um, in town. You just carry the amount of cash that you need. Um, in terms of uh, traveling, because the regions are a good hour and a half distance between each. So if you need to travel by taxi, make sure they are a member of JUTA. That's our official union for taxi and bus drivers. They have a red license plate um, and you can have every hotel will have a juta desk at their property so these are very safe um that you can travel from one area to the other there really is okay. no issue excellent i don't think i knew that that's fantastic thank you 
As we say in Jamaica, one love. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm, I'm in agreement with that for sure. Um, that was it for tonight for our questions. Um, if any come in after we weren't able to get to, we will do our best to um, answer those um, after the show. That's great. Thank Back you, Shannon. Shannon. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Louise. Great. Thank you, Vonda, Denise, and Emily. We certainly learned a lot about Jamaica today. Um, as Shannon said, if you weren't if you weren't able to have your question answered by uh, one of our agents or experts today on the panel, we will be around for about 10 minutes afterwards, or Shannon and Pam will be around for about 10 minutes afterwards to take your questions and um, hopefully get you some answers for them, and they will put them on the chat for you for about another 10 minutes or so. So as well as an alternative, you can speak directly to one of our sell-off vacations agents until 9 p.m. Eastern time tonight, and you can reach them at 1-877-735-5633. You can also um, talk to one of the agents today that was featured that shared their experiences. So you can reach Denise directly at Ajax at selloffvacations.com, and you can reach Emily at Regina at selloffvacations.com. I know they either one of them would be very happy to hear from you. They love to talk travel, and they love to talk about Jamaica as well, too. So if, again, I just want to remind people, too, that if you did want to watch any of our past presentations, we do have them all recorded, and we do post them on our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is My Sell Off Vacations, and you can uh, watch any of the presentations that we have there. Uh, and thank you again for joining us today. Um, please join us next week when we're actually going to be going far, far away. We're going to be going on a European river cruise. So please join us next week, next Wednesday at 5 p.m. Thank you and good night. Thanks, everybody. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.